Happy Saturday. The time is 715. It's a much nicer start to our morning compared to last night's really heavy rain. This morning we're starting off with temperatures mostly in the 70s, feeling like the 80s though. Not bad though. It is a nice morning and we will be dry throughout the morning hours, but getting into the afternoon today, we do bring back the chance for more scattered showers and storms. Still going to be the hit or miss type, but the storms can dump some heavy rain in a few spots. So keep that in mind. We could be dealing with some isolated street flooding again, getting into the afternoon and early evening. Not for everyone, but to make sure you are taking it easy out on the roads, avoiding those flooded roadways if we do happen to see them again. Otherwise, today is going to be hot and humid with a mix of sunshine and clouds. Our heat index feeling like up to maybe 105 to 108 degrees this afternoon, especially if you don't get a cooling shower. It's really going to be hot and sticky out there. The weekend looking pretty similar both days. Temperatures in the lower 90s today and tomorrow feeling like the triple digits. Better chance for scattered storms today and some heavier showers. Tomorrow, I think we see a bit of a lower rain chance. I think tomorrow maybe a stray storm or two, but much lower rain chances on for our Sunday. So tomorrow looking a little bit better for outdoor plans, but make sure you stay cool. Drink plenty of water if you are outdoors enjoying Essence Fest or doing anything outside. Now let's talk about the tropics. This is tropical storm barrel. It has weakened down. I mean, if you look at this satellite imagery, you can see it's kind of a mess, a bit lopsided. It's low level circulation displaced from its mid level and upper level circulation. So it's kind of spread out even some clouds associated with it moving this way closer to the New Orleans area, but this is going to continue on that path towards Texas. This is going to be moving into Texas, so Texas will be seeing an intensifying storm by later this weekend and Monday. Monday looks like the landfall time frame for the central Texas coast, so a strengthening category one storm is expected to make landfall in central Texas near Victoria, Texas. Now this is what the cone is showing by later Monday, so it is going to spend some time over the warm Gulf waters and intensify this weekend. And then it will move inland across East Texas and spread the impacts across the Mississippi Valley as a low pressure system throughout the midweek time frame. So this is a spaghetti model showing where that landfall is again now more north and east than what we were thinking over the last couple of days. So a little closer to Port Lavaca, Victoria, Texas. So we'll be watching this in the coming days for Texas. This is the GFS model to show you what this looks like over the week and then getting into early Monday. So this is having it coming in early Monday kind of just east of Corpus Christi. So that central Texas landfall is expected. The impacts coming into Texas later on Sunday through Monday and then some moisture and rain spreading across Texas and the Mississippi Valley getting into Tuesday in the midweek time frame. This could actually bump up our rain chances here in the, in the New Orleans area getting into Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's the European model has it strengthening even a little bit more, but kind of coming into better agreement that it is going to be uh, a little bit more of that northerly track, but even the Euro, Euro kind of pushing it more to the north and east closer to Houston. So this is something we'll be watching for the Texas coast going into early Monday. So a strengthening category one, possibly a weak category two hurricane for Texas. And again, those impacts getting spread across East Texas through Monday and Tuesday, and then showers spreading across the Mississippi Valley midweek for Texas. Hurricane watches in effect right now for them for a pretty much the whole Texas coastline. They're expecting about three to five feet of storm surge as a result of barrel in that central portion of the coast closer to Houston, anywhere from two to four feet of storm surge and then closer to Corpus or south of Corpus Christi, two to four feet of storm surge. We got the strong winds coming in for Texas. Those hurricane force winds expected later on Sunday and especially through Monday, and then we'll even see some breezy weather along our part of the Gulf Coast. They'll be seeing the big rainfall totals anywhere from eight to 10 plus inches of rain here at home, expecting over the next week anywhere from two to four inches. So we've got the daily showers and storms here, but this will also enhance our moisture. So this will probably bring us more rain here Tuesday and Wednesday, make it a little breezy, especially at the coast. Some rough marine conditions are expected here. Also, we could see some coastal flooding Tuesday and Wednesday, one to three feet above normal high tide. So here's your seven day forecast. Those rainfall uh, chances going up Tuesday and Wednesday, only about 70%. So we'll see some better rain chances early in the week. Thanks to barrel. Other than that, we've got a typical summertime forecast.